Pierre Larianov. Uh, we explained the background. We had a poster submitted that requested a short oral presentation. And the poster committee of this meeting thought that it was an incentive for a young researcher to give a presentation at an international meeting, and we agreed on its request. So you have 15 minutes. I uh, present uh, the small, small lab from Moscow State University. Uh, we are an online and dynamic lab from Polymer uh, Science Department of Physics Faculty. And uh, um, I present uh, the small lab, uh, an online and dynamic lab uh, from Polymer Science Department of Physical Faculty of Moscow State uh, University. Uh, we just preparing uh, some uh, images of uh, uh, interesting uh, genomes uh, of full, full, full chromosome Im images. Just, just, just this. It's not, it's not about proteins. It's, it's most about the chromosomes. And I just um, try to understand something about. Uh, the, f the first I idea uh, of 2DNA work uh, was um, from Solomon Golam, who, who, was, who, who worked uh, with Max Delbruck. And uh, in one article, uh, he just wrote that maybe it's interesting to, to, to present uh, to DNA on the complex plane, because it have uh, for nucleotides, and so it's the four vectors. And the next step, um, after the 20 years, uh, Gates, uh, Mizrahi, and Inu uh, preparing uh, the small uh, DNA sequences uh, on plane and the selection of AT and respectively GC coordinates uh, was determined by consideration of complementary chains and hydrogen balance. So, uh, but it's not, uh, it, it was not interesting because it's very small sequences and we just uh, looked like, it just looked like uh, chaotic uh, sequences. Uh, Later, some authors also preparing uh, the works about the uh, two DNA work. The last of this, uh, it's the group from France, Vincent and Toto, uh, they preparing the the software, the, the strategy of finding region of similarity of complete genome sequences. Uh, but they just um, preparing this. Um, Finding and not interesting uh, in images how they look like, and the our uh, interest it's in especially in these images how they look and the simplicity and informativeness of these images. Um, so this uh, pr presentation. Uh, uh, just, just, just we, we, we can um, present the, te, the 10 million nucleotides on the one images, and you can see that the chromosome have a unical uh, portrait properties. Um, here we present the chromosome 12 of East, so it's so easy to find um, the 
RNA cluster and telomeres. So, and the next chromosome, it's second chromosome of East. So it's the some interesting object. You, you can see the TY family of rototransposone. It's very easy to find it. And some another sequence of proteins. Uh, the chromosome one uh, of East. You, you can see the, the TY family of phototransposone too. It's, it contains 35 uh, kilobases, and it is a very big uh, palindrome. So it's a complementary palindrome. And here we can see the flocculation gene families. We, we start to prepare in the wavelet transform analysis of this type of sequences, repetitive sequences, and try to make some classification of these repeats to, 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 to future work. It's, it's easy to, 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 to locate this type of sequences from DNA work and after that preparing the wavelet transforms. Uh, here we see the all uh, 16 chromosome of series uh, so from it's, 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 uh, it's so you you can see the very big differences between this chromosome and you can just just look in here you, you can prepare some hypothesis how they organize how how what's what's compartment maybe maybe they have uh, and uh, this may be interesting so uh, for database interfaces just if you look to images and uh, you, you can remember about how it, it looks like. And this is, this is. So it's another another fungus chromosomes, so you can see the, the very different images. It's special, it's very interesting uh, images that this organism contains very long, very long, uh, Telomeres. So, and it's so, some example of another chromosomes, and this is this is a Chipanasome brusei. It's chromosome one. We just select uh, one special region. We can uh, zoom uh, every region uh, of chromosome and as we, we can see the details of this region. We can, uh, uh, we, we, we can choose the special numbers of uh, the sequences and go to the databases and we, we, we can know uh, what, what does it mean, what, what does the sequence about. Uh, here it's the ninth chromosome of trypanosome brusseis, so you can see this this type of very special repeats. Uh, the, the next step it, it's, it's we we, we um, looking on, on these images we we see that a lot um, a lot of uh, Palindromes are, are there in the chromosomes. Uh, looks li like here. So we, we can find um, some um, functional clusters uh, on these 
palindromes. We, we, we test uh, some, some of these palindromes with cake databases, uh, and some of these palindromes contain functional clusters. So, the next uh, images you can see the, the first chromosome of human. Uh, it contains uh, 247 megabases. So it's interesting to see the, 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 this large information. It's the first uh, four chromosome of, of human. And we we compare the just just uh, with images the chromosome 22nd of chimpanzee and human, and we find some interesting images here. You can see here it's a very long palindrome. It contains uh, 300 kilobases. So. Uh, you, you can see that it's, it's, uh, it, it's the diffusion process between the, the arms of these palindromes. And, and we can see another, another type of sequences look like, like palindromes. It, it's, we can see here. Uh, if, you, if you prepare in the alignment, it's very difficult to, to, to find and locate these type of sequences. Because, uh, for, for example, if one point contains around uh, one kilobases here, so it, it's a very big di differences, but it looks like palindromes. Uh, or it, it's uh, the special remarks that it's palindrome. It's not true palindrome. It's a, it, it's a complementary uh, palindrome. So it's like complementary duplication. And here we, we present the two of the very famous bacteria, Rickettsia pravachki and Rickettsia canori. Uh, it's interesting that this uh, divergence between these bacteria, uh, we can uh, present like a alpha deg degree turn. So uh, the, the same, the same um, sites of these genomes are very conservative and they have a very big correlation between the arms so they um, conserve the, some of the, their properties, properties. We, we, we don't know uh, what and it looks like um, it looks like, like, like a very big palindrome that, that contains the correlation between the arms so uh, it's may, maybe, maybe interesting to test this Okay, do we have any questions, please? Yes. I have one question. Do, do you think you could turn this into some sort of 3D structures and make... Do you think you could turn these sort of things into the equivalent of 3D structure and make homology analysis or comparison? How, uh, the, the stuff you have shown, the, the, the similarities seem to be mostly found by eye. Yes, but, but, but just by eye. Yeah. But, but uh, we, we try to, to prepare in the alignment of some sequences, uh -huh. especially uh, the, the palindrome types. But uh, it has very low similarities. Yeah. Just maybe, maybe one, one small regions contain the similarity, but you know, in. But couldn't you make. Because like, it's very, very, very long sequences. Uh -huh. But couldn't you make like structural alignments or structural like alignments of, of, of the curves? Structure of alignment. Treat the curves like if they were structures and, and, and align them in 3D or, or whatever. I don't, 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 don't understand that. Okay, we, we can talk this over. Oh. Okay, I, I, I'll ask you later and then maybe in a discussion. Yeah. Okay, if there are no more questions, I just meant to thank the speaker.